morning, everyone. Um, I'm headed to go get some brunch at a restaurant I just Google mapped and it had a pretty good reviews. It's an eight minute walk, so we're just gonna take a walk there and hopefully not die of heat. It's like 87 degrees today. Oh my God. And to think this is the best season to come to Thailand. Um, Okay, so this is the restaurant I wanted to order from, but as you can see, there's like not that many tables and I would have to sit like directly next to someone in vlogs, so I didn't do that. So now I'm here all alone, enjoying my company. It's a little coconut. Gonna bring me the food across the street. mosquitoes I got last. I'm just itching away. Like I have one, two, three, four, five. Can you see that one? Just on one leg. Yay, food is here. Yay. Thank you so much. The breakfast was 200 baht, which is like a, um, how much is that? That's like six dollars, six dollars perhaps. Coconut is 40 baht, which is like a dollar and some change. All right, I'm excited to try this bagel. I haven't had a bagel in so long. They filled it up with eggs, so I feel like this breakfast is definitely worth it. I'm so hyped right now because I just rented my first motorbike in Thailand. So now we could go around the city pretty easily. Pray for me because I have a lot of anxiety on the road now just because of my car accident. But um, yeah, I think we're going to head off to the beach pretty early today since I have a motorbike and I don't have to rely on someone now. Um, tips for renting a motorbike, always take a picture of the contract, never give them your passport. They're gonna ask and keep asking, keep asking. Don't give them your passport because what they do is when you try to return it, they try to say like, hand me that cash if you want that passport back. So what I did was leave my driver's license and then they will ask for a deposit try to skip that i just kept saying no 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 i'll give you my license and yeah because in the end they might try to keep the deposit so it's better to hand as little as possible and um another thing is before traveling i should have um, got an international driver's license but i didn't think of that at all so now if i get stopped by the police out here i'm gonna have to like pay a thousand thai baht which is like 30 bucks just still fairly cheap a fairly cheap ticket compared to the US but yeah um, now I can't go all the way back to the US for my international driver's license I'm way too deep to go and do that so now we're gonna head to the beach okay so here's the motorbike I'm gonna be renting I asked for a small one um, the guy gave me a like five minute crash course on how to ride it i hope i hope i'm good at taking direction because um this is gonna be my first time but it seems simple and yeah just taking a little video of it just in case um that's another thing make sure you take videos and pictures before you um 
ride it because you never want them to lie and say that, oh, you made a dent or a scratch when it was already there. Can I take helmet? Okay, any? Anything? Okay, thank you. Another thing is always make sure you ride with a helmet. There's been like a bunch of scary stories. Safety first, baby. All right, so I'm on the way to the beach with the motorbike. And um, it's actually been so much fun riding this thing. Super smooth, easy to ride, but look at the views I'm seeing like everywhere. I just want to stop and like take videos. All right, I'm taking a break. Just found this cute little restaurant uphill. Coconut break, of course, and I'm gonna show you guys the view. Okay, I made it to the beach and got some fresh squeezed orange juice. Here's the beach that I arrived to. They collect the plastic in this little fish sculpture thing. It's so cute. Look at that house up there. Oh, it might be a restaurant actually. It's not crowded at all. There's like very few people, but um, I think I'm gonna go check out another beach since I have no motorbike. We made it to the beach. No one's really in the ocean besides like five people. We're gonna find a shady spot, lay out, get in the ocean. All right, so I found a nice shady spot. Watching the sky uh, fish. How do I point there? <laughs> I tell you tomorrow. Yes, you want to check again. Okay, I check tomorrow. Now, I call to King for you only one night. Okay. So tonight is my last night in Colanto. So I'm taking it easy, just getting some food. Gonna go home, organize, pack. And then tomorrow I'll hit the road or hit the ferry. And um, it will be an hour ride to Komuk. Um, I don't know much about Komuk yet. I'm gonna do a little bit of research when I get home. All I know is that it's also another low-key island, and um, everywhere you go in Thailand, it has amazing sights, so I don't have to doubt that. And yeah, it'll be nice to um, go to a new island and experience more. Cheers. Thank you. Humble